Hi Impact, how are you guys doing this week? We're nearly in the end of January, you might even be watching this in February um, now, but I hope and pray that you've had a good week and that you are pleased that January is over. I know I am, it's been a really long month. So this week we're going to do things a little bit differently. This week there are going to be some videos on the below this video. There's some links to videos that you can watch telling the story. And the Bible reading this week is Acts 16, 16 to 40. So you can look it up in your Bible and read it yourself. Or you can watch one of the videos below. They're both sort of animations. Um, even though they're animations, they're more than relevant for your age group. So I hope that's OK. Or you can find something else to watch. It's up to you. So I'm going to leave you to watch those and then um, come back to this video and I will give you a bit of a reflection and prayer on that. So off you go. I hope you enjoyed those videos and um, I hope you got something from that. And instead of listening to me for a change, you were able to um, engage with the Bible passage in a different way. So I've got a few thoughts on that. And then we'll say a prayer and I will leave you guys to get on with your other things. And the first thing I thought of when I uh, read this passage was about if I was helping someone in desperate need and you help them, like Paul and Silas um, ridded the uh, woman of the evil spirit. But instead of being thanked, you were beaten, stripped and put in prison. And how would you feel? How would you react? don't quite know how I would react, but I probably wouldn't react like Paul and Silas because they lost their freedom and everything they had um, for helping this woman, but they um, they were put in chains and unable to move. But instead of being really angry and miffed, like I think I would, they praised God. In the middle of the night, they sang songs and worshipped God. And I wonder, is that the response that we should have when we're locked up or locked down as we are at the moment? Is that the response when we are um, told that we can't go anywhere and being told we have to stay in one place? Do you praise God during this time or do you have a different response? I know my responses are very mixed at the moment. And as they praise God, they listen. Other people listened. They were a witness and an example, but the foundation shook and the chains were released. What would you do if you could be re released like that and could go free in the night? I think I'd probably want to escape. I don't think I would stay um, stay in that prison smell, which probably also was a bit smelly because that would have been where they'd had to like go to the loo and everything else and, you know, yeah, yuck. But to escape, is that the right course of action or is that just the easy course of action? I think Paul and Silas chose not to follow the easy path but they stayed where they were. And because of their example, the other prisoners followed their example. They stayed as well. And their witness by worshipping God and doing the right thing instead of the easy thing led to other people to believe in Jesus. And not only were those prisoners saved that night, but the guard and his whole family were saved. And that's amazing. You know, that's a miracle that that happened um, in the middle of this prison, prison cell. And it just got me thinking about when things got tough, what do get tough, what do we do? How do we respond? If you had the chance to take the easy way out, would you take the easy way out? Or do you do take the right way? Do you do the right thing? I know sometimes I would take the I take the easy way out rather than doing the thing the right thing. And I think that's a dilemma for everybody, every single person on this planet. I know sometimes taking the easy way out is easier. Um obviously because it's the easy way out but does that share christ with others does that share god's love um with other people sometimes by doing the right thing even though it's a harder thing it's how we share god's love with those we meet choosing not to follow the crowd but to follow god can be hard but god tells us in doing that he will reward us it might not be physically reward us but it might be by rewarding us by seeing other people come to christ and that's an amazing thing. So let's pray that we take the right um, path this week, take the right way and not the easy way, um, not just this week, but in the weeks and days and months to come as well. So let's pray. 
Father God, I thank you for Paul and Silas and for um, for their witness and the lessons that we can learn from them while they were in prison. At this time when we're locked up, when we're not necessarily locked up, but we're in lockdown, um, when we're told we should stay at home and we can't go out, do we? Um, how do we respond to that? How do we respond to you in that? And Lord, I just pray that you would help us and help our young people to know the right way to respond to you in all of that, um, to sing praise and worship songs to you, to worship you instead of um, being angry with you. And help us to make the right choices, to make the follow the right way and not necessarily the easy way. And help us to trust that in following you and in following the right way that um, you will reward us and that will lead others to you and to who you are and to point to who you are as well. Lord, I pray that you will be with us this week. You'll be with our young people this week and that they will find ways to engage with you. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So I um, hopefully we'll see some of you on the Zoom call today or it's probably already been by the time you watch this. But um, yeah, I hope to be able to catch up with you guys again soon. And I pray that you're doing really well. Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>